Hello everyone, welcome to next video in uh, my podcast, let's talk about words. Today uh, I think we will have a bit untypical um, video, I mean it's still going to be about words, but the words will be taken from one of the articles that I was reading in my other videos, if you look on the videos I have on my channel. Um, there is one playlist where I read articles. This is also something new uh, because I noticed that um, um, it's quite useful for my students when they can uh, just put on something they can listen to. They don't even have to uh, watch the video, they can just listen to it. Um, and it's some kind of listening practice for them. And good starting point for some of our lessons. So this is something I've started. And there was this one article that was quite interesting about happiness. Um, it was in episode number four, I think, when I was talking about the words happy and lucky. So there I found this article and I just decided to go with it because I think this topic is quite interesting even you know to talk about when you think of your happiness so if you're interested in the article um i think i will put it yeah somewhere here in my description or you get the, this pop-up here uh, um, so that you can uh, go to go to it and listen to it i think it's quite worthwhile to listen to it before this video before watching my video here, because then you will know what I am talking about. I've chosen quite a long list, maybe too long, of words from there uh, that I think are interesting and worth remembering. You know, this is what I like doing also with my students when I have lessons with them, that we explain some of the words, uh, explain what they mean and how to use them, um, which of them are useful, which of them are used often or you know, can be useful in some context or in reading different articles so they can um, then understand when they read something else. Okay, but um, let's maybe, without making it any longer, let's go to my slides. Okay, so this is the article. It's taken from this website. The link is here. I will link it also in the description and I will link my video in the description as well. Now, the words that I've chosen are here, yes? Yeah? So let me read them for you. Maybe I can, okay, maybe I will make it a bit bigger so that you can see what words I mean. Um, fickle, downturn, embrace the joy, circumstances, focus on, appreciate, gratitude, generosity, essential, Access possessions, declutter, challenge, attract, and contribution. These, as I said, were taken from uh, this article here. Um, so, you know, I will not be going through the article because it, I have no time for this here. I want to make it as short as possible. Probably it will be longer than I want, but... Um, what I will do is will be just a quick one, looking through those two dictionaries that I have. So one of them is English-Polish, the other one, okay, that's also English-Polish. But I want to focus on describing the word in English and defining it, yeah? So, okay, the first word is fickle. This was used here as, a, uh, as adjective. Happiness is fickle and fading, yeah? So what does it mean, fickle, and do we have it? Uh, here okay so this is the word in in polish yes yeah? something that is changing that is not um, easy to catch that is it's unstable is existing and then it stops to exist at some point yes You've got the polish um, explanation here kapryśny zmienny nie stały and okay if we jesus why is it right closed for me okay when we look in this dictionary someone who is fickle often changes their opinion about things yes okay uh, fickle always changing football fans can be notoriously fickle 
Uh, so something that is not stable, right? We'd see that there's, you know, it's not really complicated words. There's not much. Downturn. Okay, downturn. That's something. Let me see how it was here. Uh, I don't know if I will find it. Oh, that was something at the beginning. Downturn as something negative, yes? Uh, does that mean that every day is a great day with no trials, temptations or downturns? Yeah, so mm, this context actually gives us, you know, if you think logically, it can be, okay, something negative, uh, something that we experience in our life that is bad, yes, that is not liked but by us, yeah, so downturns, um, spadek. Okay, something when you're going down or you're feeling depressed, when something is getting worse. Yes, the downturn is becoming larger than we thought. Okay, that's not a very good example. Let's try this uh, dictionary. Downturn. Yeah, when something turns down, falls down. Okay, so this is related here to business. A period when a business is or economy becomes less successful. I think that was a recent time in Poland, as you can say, that is a downturn. Um, okay, so we see that it's strictly uh, business-wise, yeah? The oil crisis and the downturn in primary commodity prices, blah, blah, blah. Downturn of rents, downturn of world prices, um, downturn of mortality uh, for men. Okay, so we see it's more economic term, yes? Embrace the joy. I like the word embrace, to be honest. Embrace. You know, embrace is something, yeah, it really shows that in this picture. Yeah, when you embrace, when you're really happy and you embrace your friend, you embrace, I don't know, your child, right? When you uh, welcome someone, yes, it's a very, you know, gesture expressing your emotion, yeah, to someone that is close to you, that is important to you. Uh, he couldn't get out of his house embraced. I think it's quite a nice sentence here. Mm, his embrace was so strong, I thought he broke my rib, yes? Okay, so this is physical, like, uh, first meaning of this word, direct meaning. But it can also be, uh, you know, metaphorical meaning. When you embrace because you accept something, you embrace it with your mind, yes? You take it into your mind. You can see those um, words that we have here. Uh, embrace the possibility. She doesn't want to embrace my offer. The schedule embraced a multitude of topics. So, um, you know, you can see this kind of movement of being em embracing something, yes? embrace uh, let's see what definitions we have here yeah to hold yes this direct meaning if you embrace someone you put your arms around them and if two people embrace they put their arms around each other uh, uh, as accept to accept new ideas beliefs methods in an enthusiastic way very nice definition yeah it, it was about embracing the joy yes about uh, how to be happy uh, okay, circumstances. Circumstances in general is just the situation you are in. Yeah, what are things that are happening around you? Uh, circumstances. Okay, okoliczności is very nice Polish word here. Given the circumstances, we will not throw a big party. Yeah. Uh, okay, in under other circumstances, you'd make a great couple. Yeah, so it's just a situation you are in. Yes, circumstances. Let's see what the. Okay, I think I made some typo here. That it doesn't want to. Okay, I made a mistake when typing. That's why it's got confused circumstances, facts or events that make a situation the way it is. Yes. Um, under no circumstances. This is a saying that is often used. Under no circumstances. 
can you should you approach the man yes so very useful word i think focus on this word was used when uh, okay that you focus on positive not not on negative yes focus okay focus on something so um yeah you've got the polish explanation skupić się na czymś uh, usually, you know, when I have um, a lot of noise and I'm sitting at my dog at, at my desk, it's very difficult for me to focus. Yes, to just to think of one thing, not on about other things. Can you focus on the analysis? Yes. So just choose one object that you're thinking about. Focus on. I think I've got too many words on my list, but okay. Give a lot of attention to one particular subject or thing. This is focus on, yes? Yeah? So give your attention to something only, yes? Without thinking of other things. That's focus on. Appreciate and gratitude really are close. Um, so appreciate. If you appreciate something, you're just thankful, yes? You're happy that you have something. Doceniat, yes. Uh, also very useful word when you want to say something different than just thank you. You can say, I really appreciate what you've done. I really appreciate it. Uh, she appreciates your work and effort. I appreciate your concern, but I'm okay. Uh, let's see what it says here. Appreciate to understand how good something or someone is to be able to enjoy them. Yes. Yeah? So I think it's very good definition. And uh, about this article and happiness, uh, I think appreciating things that we have in our life is a very good habit, something that we should learn. Feel grateful for something. Um, that's also to appreciate. But uh, gratitude, if you don't know this word, gratitude is being thankful simply, yes? Wdzięczność. Gratitude, I wish to express my profound gratitude. Okay, very um, kind of formal sentence. Gratitude. <clears throat> Gratitude, feeling or quality of being grateful, yes, or being, of appreciating something, yeah, the situation when you appreciate something, state of feeling grateful, that's gratitude. I think practicing gratitude for at least one thing every day, it could be really good habit for you, yes, and to make you happy. Um, okay, generosity generosity that's a noun created out of word generous someone who is generous likes okay to put it simple likes giving other people things or like sharing things does not is not afraid of sharing what he has yes he doesn't want to keep things for himself but he takes the joy from sharing things or helping other people. So that's generous. And generosity, hojność, szczodrość. Mm, there is a limit to our generosity. Okay, quite negative example. I appreciate and welcome your generosity. Generosity here. Equality of being generous. Okay, doesn't explain much maybe. Uh, but then you can check what generous means. Yes. Mm. Let's check what the generous is here. Giving people a lot of money, present uh, or time in a kind way. Yes. Generous. Uh, okay. Willing to give a lot of money. Time. Yes. A generous donor to the charity. That's a good one. It is very generous of you to pay for our holiday. Well, <coughs> that's a good example of being generous. Mm. essential uh, essential means the same as important and I think I will not go uh, through definitions of that because it's very easy essential means very important or the most important thing yeah it's just like the essence of your tea it's something that is the essence yes yeah? so that's how the word was created here essential excess possessions the excess means um 
Yes, nadmierny. So something that you have too much of, yeah, something that is over some limit, that's excess. So excess possessions is the possessions or things you possess that are just above the limit or something that, you know, you just don't need, right? Uh, nadwyżka, okay, excess luggage, that's quite, um, you know, a uh, phrase that is often used, excess luggage, excess energy. It's used as an adjective, yes, yeah? something that can be excess, excess money. What do you do with your excess money? <laughs> what, who has that? I think with money is never too much, but uh, you see the examples, yeah, excess fat. Yes, that you have too much fat. Okay, excess more of something than is usual or needed yeah so it's something that is more than necessary more than a particular amount of level too much yeah something that you just have too much so excess possessions declutter that's really close to excess possessions if you have too much you have to get rid of it that's another good word get rid of something so uh eliminate yes um declutter i like this word because i myself mm, i think have too many things and um, from time to time i'm just trying to declutter so it means to throw away things that you don't need or get rid of maybe give to someone or maybe sell don't keep things that you know are just clutter yes grate that's clutter yeah so declutter you just Say bye bye to your clutter, yes. Uh, declutter. Uh, when I started decluttering, you know, I really felt better. It's just like cleaning your house, yes, decluttering your space. It makes you calm, really, to remove things you don't need from a place in order to make it more pleasant and more useful, yes. If you keep too many things, you know, mentally, you are not feeling well really just like keeping excess fat, fat or things that your body doesn't need i'm going to declutter before my family comes to visit yeah usually we start cleaning uh before our guests come so that's that's the way we do that declutter your kitchen worktops could work tops to give yourself more space to cook yeah so uh, you just clean the space around you challenge to challenge something that was the verb if you challenge uh, okay here it comes first as a noun but we had this as a verb i think you know what a challenge is yeah something that is really difficult but you want to do it yes um the the verb means just to to do something yes or um, Okay, kwestionować, podważyć. That's the explanation in, uh, okay, that's uh, the Polish word. Uh, challenge. Let's see what it shows here. As a noun, okay, to challenge. Challenge noun. Okay, the verb. Um, challenge someone. To invite someone to compete or take part, especially in a game or argument. Okay, I think. Question if something is true or legal. Um, tests, test. I think that's a good word also, to test something, yes. So then you take a challenge as if, yes. Um, that was the meaning, yes. So do not say that it's always this way. Challenge it, yeah. Question if something is true. Uh, always try to find some other way, yes? Ch children challenge their parents' authority. Well, unfortunately, yes. To attract something. Attract, you can attract attention usually, yes? Mm, so if someone attracts you, he is attractive. It, It's really, um, yeah, attract, it means... Okay, let's maybe um, attract. Yeah, to pull or draw someone or something towards them. Yeah, that if, I don't know, something attracts you, someone. Yeah, usually we talk about people. Uh, but not only. They are so, Im so 
interesting that somebody or usually some, well, somebody uh, wants to be closer, yes, wants to see them, touch them, pull or draw someone or something towards them by the qualities they have, especially good ones. Yes, so something attractive or attract is positive word, attractive, yes. The example here is good. These flowers are brightly colored in order to attract butterflies. So the butterflies fly over, fly closer to the flowers, yes, because they are attractive. And it works the same for people, yes? If you see an attractive woman, you can say she attracts you to herself. So she pulls you like a magnet, yes? Or, you know, a man to a woman in the same way. So that's attract. In Polish, we don't have this attrakcyjne. Um, yeah? There is no connection, I think, between those words. And the last word for today is contribution. You can attract happiness. That was, I think, the um, the context from the article. Contribution. Uh, the best explanation would be, I would say, here, because there was the contribution was just at the end here. Somewhere. Okay, I can see that now, but it was somewhere okay greater okay uh, when we shift our focus off of ourselves we live the lives of greater meaning and greater contribution okay so contribution is something that you give to the world you share your I don't know, quality something that you give to the world what exactly is your contribution to this project yeah so what what is your part what have you done from this project your contribution will be recognized yeah so what you've done for this will be recognized. I think it's uh, also a useful word. Contribution. Yeah, something that you contribute, okay, or do to help produce or achieve something together with other people. Yeah, so contribution is uh, something usually that you do with a group of other people and you just do part of some bigger thing, some bigger project. And... It's your as if piece of work that you give to this community, to this group of people, yes? Uh, and together you create something successful. So it's, well, usually positive word, but okay. Well, maybe it's neutral, depends what you're talking about, yes? Mm, contribution, money, support or other help, yeah? So it can be also financial term really as yes, your contribution to something when you pay the money for something okay so um, that's all I wanted to do today I think it was quite a lot anyway hopefully I, I hope it was useful this is something I really like doing also with my students and on my own I just recorded it because I thought it could be useful for you um so again hope you take advantage of that and make use of those words for today that's all and thank you very much put your thumbs up if you like my videos subscribe if you like my podcast uh, and my channel and i'm waiting for your comments if there are any words or any things that you have ideas about i am really looking forward to see them um any suggestions are good. As you see, I'm working really spontaneously, so there is no strict plan. Uh, so thank you for today. And yes, and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.